Hi, I'm Margaret, and this is Strength of Materials class. I want to take a few minutes to get you oriented um, and remind you how the Moodle class is set up. So here's the Strength of Materials class that you'll see when you first come into Moodle. And at the top of the page, you see this image here. These are, um, this is an important idea that we're going to encounter over and over in this term, that all materials are elastic. And over here with this formula thing, here's our basic stress formula. Stress is force over area, PSI. That's going to make a lot more sense to you um, in another day or two and as we go along. So let's see, let, let us scroll down through this page here and uh, see what we've got. As usual, we have our syllabus and our syllabus schedule at the top of the page. And so let's, let's open those, let's look at those right now. Here is the syllabus itself. This has um, policies about the class and how grading works and so on and so forth. If you want to communicate with me about an individual issue, here is my email address. Or if you would like to request a, a Zoom conversation, here's use my email address. So we can Zoom anytime and we can look at what you're working on and um, talk about it together. Let's scroll down through here. Um, the textbook is the same textbook that was listed for structures class last term or when you took structures class. As, as with structures class, um, the textbook is not really required. So I listed in the syllabus. I list it as required so that if you have financial aid that pays for books, you'll be able to buy this book. It's a good book. On the other hand, I'm going to give you everything you need in the PowerPoints and the videos and so forth. So uh, buy it if you have financial aid or money, uh, but don't buy it if you don't have money. And what did I want to say about that? Oh, yes. Um, the parts of the book that we use for this class have not changed in the first four editions of the book. It's on the fourth edition now. You could buy an older copy, first, second, or third edition, and have all the stuff um, with one exception. Um, I think welded connections is not in here. Uh, you could have all the stuff that you need. But I'll give you everything you need in the lecture, so don't worry about it. Okay, let's scroll down through here. Um, I want to, all of this you should be familiar with if you've had drafting classes before, this is standard language, but I did want to call your attention to the advisor. It's really important that you meet with your advisor um, once a term to make sure you're on track and you're taking the right courses you should and so on and so forth. And then the other thing I wanted to point out is this section on students with disabilities. And if you've had a class with me before, you know that um, this is something that I take really seriously. And you also know that if you have a some kind of situation that's not um, officially diagnosed, but it's affecting your ability to do the class. I take that seriously too, and just reach out to me and we'll figure it out. I think that's all I want to say about the syllabus. Let's now look at this thing called the syllabus schedule, which looks like this. It's an Excel um, spreadsheet here. And here are all the topics that we're going to cover. Now, when you first look at these, uh, you see all these esoteric words in here and you think, oh no, this looks complicated. Actually, it's not. <laughs> Actually, uh, my goal for you is just to know what these words mean so that you can have informed conversations with engineers and architects. And uh, as we go along, you are going to know exactly what each of these terms mean. And uh, by the time you get to the end of the term, 
I think you're going to feel pretty comfortable using this kind of language. So I just, I think that's cool. Um, and we're going to take these ideas one bite at a time, one step at a time. I want to point out to you, and when you look at the assignments, I want to point out to you that there are no drawings in this class at all. So no vector arrows, no truss analysis, none of that kind of stuff like you had in structures class. In this class, all of the assignments are quizzes. So how about that? And a lot of them are pretty short. So I think you will find this class a lot more hmm, manageable than structures class was. Also, I have set up all these quizzes so that you can have multiple attempts. So if you, um, you answer a question and you get the wrong answer, you have a chance to go back and try it again and um, figure out, okay, what was the wrong answer, what was the right answer, and you can do that multiple times. That can be a good way to uh, get a better handle on the material too. And um, there are suggested due dates, suggested due today, but nothing has an actual due date until the beginning of finals week. So really, all of these quizzes are set so that they are due on Monday of finals week. That means you can work at your own speed, uh, whatever is comfortable for you. I recommend that you um, finish each week's quizzes during that week because if you get behind, it's just, it's really difficult. Uh, don't do that. In week one, do the stuff for week one. In week two, do the stuff for week two and so forth. And it's perfectly fine to work ahead if you want to. If you want to whiz through here and get these all done in a few weeks, that's totally fine too. Let's see, what else did I want to say? Um, just a reminder now about how this whole thing is set up. So um, in addition to emailing me privately, there are three ways um, here also to communicate. This first one, introduction forum, is actually your first assignment. We'll see that in week one. Um, news and announcements forum is me talking to you. This is where I will share um, information about the class. Oftentimes it's something like, uh, oh, I forgot to put this thing in here, but now it's there or that sort of thing. And then the question and answer forum is you talking to the class, to me and to everybody else. This is the place where you want to post um, things related to the class in general. So this quiz isn't working right. What should I do? This would be a good place to post it. Because if you wonder about it, uh, no doubt other people wonder about it too. Then um, each week, uh, the, the class is sorted by weeks. Each week has uh, some lectures and videos and then some quizzes. Just work your way through here. If it has a check mark, it, it's a quiz. This first assignment here says, oh, I need to change that date. It's actually January 9. Um, this first assignment here, complete the introduction forum. So go up here to the introduction forum and do that. And it is um, what we're doing instead of taking attendance, so we know for sure that you intend to take the class. So you have to finish that by the end of the first week. Now, uh, while we're in here, let's just think about navigating. If you've taken classes in Moodle before, this might be familiar to you. There are two kinds of navigation devices. Down at the bottom, there are labels with arrows. You can go forward or you can go backward. The one I like is the breadcrumbs up at the top. So here we're in the introduction forum. We could go back to the welcome section, or we could go clear back to the course itself. 
which is what I usually do so I don't mix myself up. Um, I think that's all I want to say about that. Uh, also, a reminder, you might be used to seeing a, a menu along the left side where you can look up your grades and so forth. And if you're alarmed that it's not there, remember to click on this hamburger stack over here on the left side and the stuff appears. Okay, one other thing I wanted to say to you was um, in the Google Shared Drive, I'm going to click my Google Shared Drive, you have uh, all of the drafting courses that we offer are all in this Google Shared Drive. And <clears throat> what's good about that is that you have access to that after the term is over. At the end of the term, Moodle will shut down and you won't be able to get into it anymore. But you will have access to these materials in Google forevermore. And I'm going to send you, uh, I'm going to hook you up to this folder if you're not already hooked up so that you can get here. So for example, in Strength of Materials class, there's our syllabus and schedule. I'm going to click this down arrow. Here are the assignments. So if you want to review what all the quizzes say, here they are. Here are all the lectures. If you want to open a PowerPoint and remind yourself what's in there, here are all the PowerPoints. And I have put Word documents with the links to the YouTube videos in here. So you have permanent access to that. And you are more than welcome to take anything from any class that you want to. I know we shouldn't do that, but um, I think um, these are valuable resources and please feel free to help yourself. So, all right, let's see. Was there anything else we wanted to say? Oh, yeah. Over here along the right-hand side, just a reminder that here on the right-hand side is how you can get to the student help desk and uh, some stuff about how to use Zoom and other kinds of uh, tools. So refer to this thing over here. All righty. Well, I think that's it. Uh, I hope you find this class interesting and hopefully even a little bit fun. And I hope that when you get to the end of the term, you look back and, and you think, you know what? I actually know some things about this engineering stuff. So that's our goal for the term. And with that, uh, let's get started.